We're coming into summer here in Australia, so I thought I would do a tutorial on a really long-lasting, glowy summer look. If you want to see how I got it, then just keep watching. Using a really good primer is very important. I love this one because it makes my makeup last ages and makes my skin look nice and smooth. A great glowy foundation is this NARS one. I'm building it up by using two layers, buffing it in with a fluffy brush. For me, it lasts a really long time and I don't get patchy or anything like that either during the day because it's more hydrating. Then I'm just going to blend it out with a damp beauty blender to make sure that there's no lines or anything like that and it's all nicely worked in. I'm using this Urban Decay Concealer which has an amazing coverage. I'm going to use it to conceal and highlight my face as well. And I'm using a cream contour to do all my contouring as a base. I'm using a beauty blender to blend it all out. I'm using uh, a primer water. You can also use like the MAC Fix Plus works really well to dampen the beauty blender. It just makes, I find, everything last a lot longer. I like doing a cream contour underneath my powder just because I feel like if my makeup does start to fade, I've got that like as a backup. So underneath it's going to make my contour and highlight a little bit stronger and sort of blend with me with my foundation. I'm setting my under eyes so it doesn't crease and it lasts longer. Then I'm setting everything with a highlighting glowing powder. Um, you can use like a translucent one if you want to. I wanted to add a little bit more bronze to my face, so I'm using this Alice Fast one. I'm going over the areas I already contoured with that cream contour stick with a powder. I just want to make it a little bit more intense after I put the setting powder over the top and kind of fade it a little bit. I'm also going over the bits I use my highlighter concealer um, with a really light powder highlight, nothing too intense. Just want to give it a bit more glow. You can use any blush really, like a matte one if you wanted to. I just really love this one because it's got a bit of a golden glow to it, just to tie in with the whole look. Lastly, I'm highlighting the tops of my cheekbones with something a bit more intense. It's not necessary, but highlight on fleek. I'm all about primers, so of course I'm priming my lids to stop any creasing or smudging. Using a fluffy brush and a peachy nude shade, I'm defining my crease and I'm also using it as my transition shade. I'm going in a little bit lower than that with a chocolate brown to add a bit of depth and smokiness. Then I'm wetting my brush with a primer water and putting a shimmery rose gold peachy colour all over my lid. Because it's so shimmery, to avoid fallout, do more of a patting motion until majority of it's off your brush before it's swiping or wiping over the lid. I'm using the same matte pinky shade as before, the peachy one, um, and I'm going to smoke out my lower lash line with that. Then I'm taking that shimmery peachy rose gold shade again and I'm going to use that in my inner corner. Onto liner, I love wing liner so I wing out pretty much everything but this step isn't totally necessary if you want to go for a really more natural kind of look. Layer up on mascara, top and bottom lashes to really open up your eyes. I'm so glad you can't really see my mouth right now because it is wide open with the mascara face. Then I'm going to lightly fill in my brows so they don't look too overdrawn, just nice and natural. And I'm going to set them with a clear brow gel so they don't get sweat off or rubbed off during the day. I find going all over my lips with a lip liner makes whatever I put over the top last heaps longer. Um, and it also gives that nice kind of crisp shape. I'm also going to go over it with a creamy lipstick, so nothing too matte, but nothing too glossy so it doesn't rub off. And then I'm going to add the gloss by going over it with a lip gloss. So that's the 
it guys, I really hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. For more looks, head over to my Instagram at Kate Makai Makeup and I will see you in my next video. Bye!